Folks, it's day four of the massive manhunt for this man, Deontay Rosiles. He broke out of his handcuffs and bolted from the Broward County Courthouse on Friday morning. Over the weekend, we learned Rosiles did have help making his escape. And today, four accomplices who were arrested each faced the judge. While we were much learning more about uh, the accused killer was able to get away, there's still been no sign of him since Friday. We've got CBS 4 team coverage right now. CBS 4's Joe Murray has been retracing Rosile's steps inside the courthouse. But let's begin with CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Fort Lauderdale with more on those four arrests. Ted? Hi, Elliot. Those four people who were arrested are all in jail tonight, and they won't be getting out anytime soon. They are being held without bond. Meanwhile, that murder suspect who escaped, he is the only one who is still free. They're 17 years old, but twins Trayvon Barnes and his identical brother, Cray Tron, are in big trouble. They're accused of playing a role in the escape of suspected killer Deontay Rosiles, and they're not alone. Good morning, Ms. Stern. Good morning, sir. LaQuay Stern was also brought up on charges, along with another man. Are you Winston George Jr. Russell? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. sir. According to investigators, Winston Russell, Stern, and the twins worked with Rosiles on Rosiles' escape plan. It happened Friday. Rosiles was in court. He's facing a possible death sentence if convicted of killing Jill Halliburton Sue nearly two years ago. She was stabbed to death in her Davie home. You've been charged in count one with escape or attempt to escape. Count two, accessory after the fact of a first degree felony, in this case murder in the first degree. Stern told investigators they worked on the plan with Rosiles. While in court Friday, he somehow got out of his handcuffs. That's when police say the twins, who were sitting in court, coughed into a cell phone, a secret signal to Stern and Russell. They are the ones who gave a signal to indicate to the getaway driver that he was escaping from custody. Moments later, Rosiles' jail jumpsuit and his cuffs were on the floor, and surveillance pictures show him bolting out the door to Stern and Russell, who are accused of driving the getaway car. We've learned Rosiles is no stranger to the law. Aside from the murder charge, court records show he faced 14 charges in the past, including seven felony convictions. He has several burglary and grand theft charges, along with an accusation of possessing ammunition as a felon. And the sheriff calls that escaped murder suspect armed and dangerous. There is a $20,000 reward for his capture. By the way, those teens, those twins, they are likely going to be charged as adults. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.